Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Chandrika and this is Rika Life. Okay, so I hope you've been having a wonderful time. Uh, where I am, it is slowly getting warm, which has been very nice. Um, but I wanted to share with you today um, one whip and two finished objects. Uh, I did have videos last week, but I actually wasn't in town last week. So um, that, you know, pile of 16 whips that I had, I kind of took a pause on that. Um, and I just took some new yarn with me to work on some smaller projects while I was away. So I was able to finish two items and start a third. And I'm going to share those with you today. I'll share with you the projects and the yarn stats and all of that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get started. And here we go. This was the first one that I made. I made a corner to corner baby blanket. That's what it looks like up close. And this I made with a, I'll show it to you up close so you can see the colors. They're really fun colors. I felt like this was just, let me put my light there. I felt like this was just so fun to make. It was such beautiful colorway. This is just a regular corner to corner. And this is the yarn that I used. It's Premier Basics Mosaic. I had this much left, so I used two balls, almost two balls. This is a medium four weight, 216 yards or 198 meters, 4.23 ounces, 120 grams. It's 100% acrylic. And it recommends an eye or 5.5 millimeter hook. I used a J six millimeter hook. Um, and what else? You can machine wash warm and tumble dry. So this is the color bouquet or bouquet. That's what it looks like up close. And it came out really nice. So this was the very first project that I did. I started this, I think, um, on my way on the trip. I started this and then I finished this within the first two or three days of my trip. I didn't have really solid crochet ta crocheting time, but I just made time wherever I could. And I just, you know, did a simple project like this that I could just pick up and put down and I didn't have to count anything. I didn't have to keep track of anything or follow any pattern. So this was the perfect project for me it was a corner to corner baby blanket. It's a good size, I feel. And yeah, I'll be donating this one. So I'm very happy to have made that. That is the first finished object I wanted to share with you. So let me move this over here. Okay. Can you guess what the next item is? The next item is also a corner to corner blanket. Here it is. This is the next one. Okay. So this, I'll show it to you up close. You can see that. This is made with Karen Blossom Cakes, and that's what it looks like on the cake. This is the Colorway Blossom. I used um, less than a cake. I had this one cake and I had this much left over. So I'd say I must have used maybe three quarters of the cake. Um, oh, there's a pattern on the back. There's something on the back, yeah. So this is also a medium four weight. It recommends an H five millimeter hook, machine washable and dryable. This yarn is actually 61% cotton and 39% acrylic. It's 481 yards or 440 meters, eight ounces or 227 grams. So I also used the J six millimeter hook on this one. Um, I had that hook out and I kind of just went with it when when I was choosing my yarns I chose yarn that could be made with a six millimeter hook so that I didn't have to keep changing my hook sizes so that is that one it has really nice color changes and I did the same thing just a corner to corner square and I was able to make this beautiful baby blanket so I'm very pleased with this as well um this was not my first time using um the blossom cakes I have used them before um, they're chain spun, so they're a little different, but it has some really nice texture and really nice, um, just the way the color shows. I feel like it's really beautiful. 
So this is a nice soft yarn, durable, um, durable yet soft. And um, I will be also donating this blanket. So I have two blankets for donations. And now I'm going to share with you my third project, which I started, but of course I didn't finish because I didn't have enough time, but I'm still working on this project. So my skein is just exploding. Um, I am making, again, the same pattern by Crystal over at Bag O' Day Crochet. I keep making this pattern over and over. I keep calling this pattern a um, brick stitch. It's not a brick stitch. It's just listed in her a tutorial as like an easy blanket and I have linked it before so um, I'm going to try to see if I can pop the link in the description box again but I've linked her the same pattern many many times in my videos so you'll see this in other videos and it should be there so this is the front this is what it looks like so kind of, I always think of the brick stitch because it's like I'm making little bricks, but she doesn't call it that. And I'm not sure what an actual brick stitch is, so I won't call it that. But it's this really easy pattern and the repeat is just, it's um, it's a multiple of four plus two. So I just go until it's as long as I want and then I add two and then I start. The only thing I do different from her tutorial is that I add an entire row of single crochet at the beginning and then I start the pattern. And I do that on purpose because I want the bottom to be, um, how do you say, I want it to be more complete. I don't want to be working into loops right away. So you can see that the bottom is nice and even, and it, it gives it some, what's the word I'm looking for? It just gives it some, um, it gives it a nice shape, let's say. So I am working on this. This is again, going to be a baby blanket, not too big. And in case you can't see, let me just move my leg here. This yarn actually has sparkle in it. There you can kind of see it. So I will tell you what yarn I'm using. This is yarn from Joann's. This is their own brand, Big Twist, Big Twist Twinkle. That's what it's called, Big Twist Twinkle. And you can see my skein is just coming apart, but I, I'm throwing it to you up close so that you can see some of the sparkle. I don't know if you can see it nicely there. Maybe, maybe not. Um, it has a nice sparkle going throughout. It is not making the yarn um, rough in any way. It's a very gentle sparkle. So this is Big Twist Twinkle. It's 380 yards or 347 meters. It's six ounces or 170 grams. It is a medium four weight and recommends an H five millimeter hook, machine washable, dry flat. This is the color yellow. And it is 97% acrylic, 3% metallic fiber. And I don't know what's happening here. It seems like my skein is like exploding. It's I'm like, why is it so long all of a sudden? <laughs> It's the inside is just coming out it's like yarn barf. So I just got to be careful as I'm working this up that it doesn't completely get disassembled. So that is the third project that I'm working on and I'm loving it. I don't know if you can really see those sparkles. I'm trying to hold it up close so you can see them, but I don't think, I don't think the camera is picking up on the sparkles. If you can see the sparkles, let me know in the comments. If not, it has sparkle in it. <laughs> okay, so that's my third project. That is going to be um, going into my bag of what I call my car whips, which is just projects I keep in the car so that when I'm on a drive longer than 15, 20 minutes, I can work on it and make a little bit of progress. So that is what I'm going to do with this project now. So I'm in no rush to finish it, but it's a nice bright color. So even if I am... Um, a passenger in the car while it's a little bit um, dark outside, I can still work on it because it's a yellow yarn. So those were the three projects I worked on this past week. Um, I am still working on the top that I shared in my last video. It's right here. It is on my desk. I am 
Let me see. Oh, I didn't mention to you. I also use the same J hook for that yellow um, baby blanket. Okay, so let me see if I can show this to you. I'm still working on this. That's how much I've done. So I'm still working on it and it's um, it's now adding in the red at the bottom. So I am working on still the first two cakes out of four. Um, this is what it look, they look like now. So there's orange and it'll go into the red, the solid red. And then the plan is after that to start from the outside and then work my way back in. So I have two of these. And then um, I haven't really decided um, how long I'm going to make this top. I mean, it's going to at least be below my waist for sure. I'm going to try and make it into a longer top. Um, I mean, if I had, I, I'm not really sure how much yarn it's going to take. So if the case is that I can almost make a dress, then I'll try to make it into a dress. But my only issue is it's fitting me up here right now, but I don't think it's going to fit my bottom half <laughs> the same, <laughs> if you get what I mean. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Um, I had some like orange and green that was still going and I just cut it out of the ball out of this cake because I was like I'm done with this color let's move on to the red so I might use this later I might not I just have it sitting here um so I still have that li that list of whips that I was working on I had started at 16 I think I'm still at like eight or nine whips and um this yellow one is going to be just a car whip so I'm not going to really count that per se but uh, because I took a crochet bag with me, I literally took out, I don't know if you can see it. It's, yeah, it's in the back here over there. I literally emptied an entire bag of scraps because I wanted to take a certain bag with me. And um, now it's just a big mess and the yarn is getting tangled. And I think I got to sit down and kind of fix all that. Um because I am making these baby blankets now, I'm again thinking I should be making more baby caps. I do have some baby caps, but I can make more out of those scraps. I could also use those scraps to um, make more corner to corner blankets. So that's something I'll need to separate them because my scraps have some DK weight yarn and some number four worsted weight yarn. So I don't think I can really mix them together just because it then becomes uneven. So that might be a good project for today is just to sit down and go through that bag and see what's in there. Um, I've been watching some videos where people are winding their yarn and I'm thinking, oh, that would be nice to have. But I don't have a yarn winder and I think I'm okay without it. I just like working directly off the skein and um, that's been working for me all these years. Um, so I started crocheting in... No why am I saying November? Yeah, November of 2014. So this November will be 10 years of crocheting, which is crazy. I mean, I don't think I've had any other hobby that long or something that I've done on a nearly daily basis other than brushing and showering. Um, also, in April, I think it's April 18th or 19th, is my one year YouTube anniversary. So I started this channel like a year ago. I I mean, that's just mind blowing to me. I can't believe it's been an entire year and um, it's been a really amazing journey. I've enjoyed being on YouTube. I've gotten so much positive feedback. I've had people who comment on all my videos and um, the community is just it's so kind. There's so much to learn and I absolutely love, you know, having a presence here. Um, I love sharing what I'm making. I love sharing the donation things I'm making and um it's just, it's just a really nice place to be able to share this creative part of my world. I'm, I really enjoy it. So I'm not really sure yet what I'll be doing for my one year crochet YouTube anniversary. Um, but I'll have to figure out some way to commemorate the occasion because it'll be one whole year this month, which is crazy. So yeah, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you have a wonderful crochet full day and I'll see you again soon.